Uh, but digressing from all of that, let's get back to Showtime versus DAZN and all that beef. I want smoke! Yeah, you do, DAZN. We know you do. Um, but but quickly, I, 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 I go check out TBV and, and uh, their interview with Eddie Hearn. Uh, with Ness, that that they, that was just a phenomenal job. Eddie Hearn said a lot of stuff about HBO, Showtime, etc. That's very interesting that I may delve into. That I'm not going to play the audio for, just so you know. Um, and there's been several articles out there, several interviews out there that sort of echoed this about the zone and the movements that are happening. Uh, so I'm not going to show you all of that on YouTube and talk about them all in terms of sources. But just so you you're aware, there's a ton of information out there about these networks and what's happening next. A lot of money being talked, a lot of figures being mentioned. Go peep those interviews. Go look at those articles. It is important as a fan. I, I, It would take me way too long to show you every piece of information, just being honest with the, the time that we have with callers. We just can't do that. Uh, but I will uh, read this interesting piece about Joshua leaving Showtime versus DAZN. I think it's indicative of what is happening in the market. Um, business isn't about loyalty. Oh, hold on. Let me get my dramatic music. Yes. Business isn't about loyalty, but making the right decisions for your career, Joshua told CBS Sports. We're all working together. There's HBO, DAZN, there's Sky. There's all these other broadcasters. So it's not about I'm going to stay put and because we are loyal. It's like being in an abusive relationship. Sorry, same character. You have to make movie. Uh, sorry, not movies. Moves for the better of your life. That's what I'm doing right now. Making moves for the better of my career. The Zone is a good channel to be a part of, and honestly, and I honestly believe that. But so is Showtime, and so is HBO and Sky Sports. They are all unbelievable broadcasters, and one day I may have a chance to box on HBO. Whoa, whoa, whoa hold up, hold up, hold up. We, we got it. We got to address that. Let me read it very fast. Uh, the rest of it. Because I haven't had that chance. There's no love lost, blah, blah, blah. It's nothing about love. A bunch of bullshit. Um, I love that it's HBO is now back. I, I guarantee you there's going to be tons of YouTube videos out there talking about how, oh, Anthony Joshua wants to go to HBO. And kind of does. I mean, he mentioned HBO more than any other network in this interview. Other than the Sky Sports, which he's contractually obligated to and has been on his entire career. And then behind those two is the zone, which he's on right now. Bayside Boxing, yes, I was. Yes. I picked Edlou Alvarez to, to, to beat Kovalev. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, homie. Um, but digressing, I, 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 think, I think Anthony Joshua... And just in terms of these networks battling for each other, it's going to be interesting. Because, again, go check out the interview with Ness and Eddie Hearn uh, in terms of just the idea that HBO is making comeback. Eddie even mentioned that. Eddie uh, referenced or, or implied uh, that that basically HBO is going to make a comeback in a big way and was kind of mysterious about it. I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. It's just interesting. I, I, I'm curious. And then also in that interview, Eddie alluding to rumors he's heard about Showtime running out of a boxing budget this year, which is odd to me because they're coming off the heels of obviously Mayweather McGregor last year, which they obviously should have collected a bunch of money on to sort of soup up their budget for this year. Uh, maybe they spent a lot of that, obviously, in the, in the first half of this year. I mean, you have Eddie throwing out numbers that he has said in that same interview with Ness and TVV, that Mikey Garcia is getting paid three million dollars for these fights against Robert Easter. He reportedly got paid uh, for the state uh, to the state one million dollars for his guaranteed purse. So that means he got paid two million on top of that. So God knows how much money Showtime is really throwing out there and what their budget really is, because. It's not really, I think, known at this point. Uh, we don't even know what Top Rank's budget is uh, with ESPN. You know, I've heard people in the industry mention $50 million 
and all the way up to 80 million. God knows. Uh, New York Times saying it's under 120 million, whatever that means. That's a very broad number. Um, but just a lot of numbers uh, and, and just overall just money being thrown around for these fighters is a good thing. It just fundamentally is. Um, I think as fans in the long term, I think we're going to win out. I think streaming is going to be, no pun intended, streamlined. Um, I, I do believe Showtime and HBO, even though it may be a longer process than in the, in the next 12 months, the next 24 months, maybe it's five years, 10 years, 15 years, but they aren't going to be the main driving forces of boxing going forward, in my opinion. I've said this before, i say it again. It's definitely going to be ESPN and DAZN, or maybe not DAZN, maybe a... A continuation of it. Because I think Eddie Hearn is going to be a face for boxing going forward for a lot of figures. I just just think so. He's throwing out way too much money for them not to sort of pick up better fighters, uh, better overall names. Because obviously we're going to get into uh, the new card, uh, the October 6th announced card and all of that. But definitely going to be interesting. Uh, again, call in number 323-870-4051 and call in later. Um, Rob, that is funny though. I'll give you that. Um, and speaking of 